Hello and uh, welcome to uh, another video and uh, as you can see from the screen here uh, this is only tangentially uh, applicable to fantasy grounds but what we're going to do is to look at uh, how you remove things like room numbers and secret door symbols and that kind of thing from a map so that you can uh, make a player version uh, of a map. Uh, so we've loaded this one up into uh, uh, Photoshop um, and we are going to uh, zoom in uh, down to this bit down here and we'll work on this area uh, down in this corner and what we'll try and do is get rid of the room numbers for this room and for the secret door here and for this room here now there's a couple of different techniques you can use for this uh, and you'll probably need to use a combination of uh, both of them um, now I should also say that I'm by no means an expert on Photoshop so there's probably a hundred other methods of dealing with this um, uh, and uh, probably far easier and far better but these are the two that I, I know uh, so let's have a look at this uh, secret door uh, first so the first thing we're going to do, or uh, first thing we're going to try anyway, is we're going to come up here to uh, the lasso tool here. If we right click uh, over the lasso tool, make sure that we've actually got the uh, lasso tool selected. And we're going to select that, and then what we're going to do is basically just uh, hold down the left mouse button and uh, draw around this uh, secret door. Uh, we don't need to be... Uh, very precise about it but we can uh, draw a line around it and we'll get a uh, little sort of ant trail that uh, is showing that we have now selected this area of the map. Now if we then right click over uh, that area and then select fill uh, we'll get this little menu here uh, make sure that the contents here is, or that the, this box here is selected to content aware. Um, the rest of it, I don't know what any of it means, but it um, basically just leave it as it is. Uh, the important one is the content aware thing, and then just click OK. Um, and as you can see, uh, Photoshop has done a pretty good job of removing that big gigantic S. Um, and it's more or less um, left the background as it more or less should be but it's not just exactly uh, precise, it's not brilliant and also of course it's uh, disappeared or it's, it's not drawn in the wall here so um, this is um, not a finished product yet so what we need to do is we need to uh, kind of draw in the uh, wall that um, Photoshop has removed here and if we um, just have a wee look around here uh, we've got another uh, fireplace uh, in the next room so we we're going to try and use this fireplace to um, replace this one so this requires another technique and this is uh, the clone stamping tool so if we uh, click on this little button here right click on it make sure you've got the clone stamp tool selected uh, and this opens up menus up at the top here now we want to click on this little drop down uh, so that we can get this. Now there's probably shortcut keys for opening all these but I don't know what they are so um, but you may be able to find out. And I'm going to select a, a fairly uh, hard brush uh, for this one uh, and I'm going to reduce the size to maybe uh, 5 pixels or something like that. We can, we can actually type that in there I think. Uh, yep. And then we're just going to press the turn, and that's got us selected. And we get this little um, icon here on our uh, brush. And we're going to hold down the Alt key, and then we're going to select this uh, corner down here. And in fact, let's select this corner uh, up here. Um, and we're just going to uh, hold down Alt, and then uh, click to select. And that basically has um, put this little corner here onto uh, the tool that we're using. If we come over now to our uh, fireplace that we want to sort and we'll zoom in a little bit and we can line up this little uh, corner that we have selected from elsewhere uh, with the existing corner here and then we're just going to hold down the uh, left mouse button 
and we are going to uh, just draw down uh, and as we do so we are basically taking the picture or the part of the map that we previously selected and we are painting it uh, over this uh, area here. Now we don't want to go too far, we're just kind of trying to replicate what was in that uh, previous area and that's probably uh, sufficient. Um, if we zoom out a bit we can see that that's not too bad in terms of at least it cuts everything off um, and we've got a, a back wall. Now we can, we can tidy this up a little bit more uh, probably by selecting this uh, pixels, uh, there are the pixels in here now. And if we click that uh, and then go over here and just uh, do the same kind of thing on this side just to kind of tidy this up and make, make it look a little bit nicer. Um, and if we zoom out that's pretty good. Um, we have uh, a non-obvious secret door there. Um, the players will have to look very hard in order to see any uh, difference in the uh, pixels. Um, now the back of this wall doesn't look uh, very right because there's no shadow on it or anything like that. So what we can do is we can try and find another area uh, and let's pick Let's just pick this area up here. One thing to note is we've got a, a, a grid line here, so we want to uh, pick something with a grid line. So let's uh, pick this uh, area here, make our selection by pressing Alt. Uh, we'll come down here, zoom in a bit, and we're just going to try and line this up and then just draw in the uh, shadow behind this wall that we have uh, drawn. Something like that. Um, we can then kind of do the same thing. We'll just pick a little bit of this darkness and we'll just stamp it on there. And a little bit of this darkness and stamp it on there. And when we zoom out um, you've got a pretty decent uh, secret wall or secret door there, um, which is not going to be immediately visible, uh, uh, visible I should say, to the to the players. It's, it's going to, when they come into this room, it's going to look uh, pretty much the same uh, as uh, that one uh, there. So, by using a combination of the uh, clone stamp tool here. Um, and the uh, lasso tool, um, then we can pretty much do uh, anything or we can remove uh, almost anything from the map. And we can show you the same uh, kind of thing with the uh, A28 here. So let's try the lasso tool first. So we're just again going to uh, draw around this uh, number here. We're going to right click over the selection, go to fill, content aware and click OK. Um, and as you can see it's not done a brilliant job this time. Um, it's uh, got everything a bit weird. So that probably uh, isn't going to work in that case. So let's go back to the clone stamp. Uh, and this time I'm going to make the, uh, the brush a, a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe about 15 pixels. And I'm going to select a softer brush uh, for this one. And then we are going to just press return. And we are going to zoom in a little bit. And we'll select an area down here, just on the crossroads between two grid lines. Uh, we'll select that there, I think, will be fine. And then we'll uh, try and match that grid up. This is why I wanted to make the thing a little bit bigger so it's easier to match that up. So once you think you've got it kind of right, uh, hold down the left mouse button and then just uh, draw your mouse along and it should erase uh, the number. And now the reason we had a, 
a soft brush for this one is it should uh, blend the colours in uh, a bit more uh, than a hard brush will. A hard brush will um, sort of paste all the, the, the colours in. So by using a soft brush you're kind of merging it into the existing colours. Uh, if we get rid of that uh, line and zoom out um, we see we've done a pretty good job of uh, erasing the number and the grid lines are still all nice and straight. And basically that's about it really. You uh, would do the same for any of these other numbers um, and uh, anything else that uh, appears. Uh, if we zoom out a bit you see there's quite a bit of text and things that got um, on this map that you would probably want to uh, get rid of. And same kind of thing would apply if there was a, a trap or anything like that. You would be able to uh, just use a combination of those two uh, techniques just to erase uh, uh, or replace uh, the colours uh, that you see uh, on the map uh, and thus hiding the secret doors and other information that the players shouldn't know about. Uh, okay, uh, well as I say that, that's a quick and dirty one, um, I, I, uh, I, as I say, I'm not an expert on Photoshop so uh, it probably can be done uh, a lot neater um, and maybe um, you'll be able to uh, come up with different techniques yourself uh, and post your own videos. Um, and okay, so that's uh, it for this one, uh, thanks for watching, uh, cheers for now.